this is the brand new Hydra 4X. It's a MIDI control matrix loop switcher with four mono loops. It has two volume control blocks. One is reordable like a fifth loop and the other one is fixed at the very end. There is also a mixer that is used for trails and parallel loops. The Hydra 4X is by far the smallest matrix loop switcher on the market. Also, all the functions are accessible with the buttons on the top. The loops of the Hydra aren't numbered, they're color coded. To make it easier for this demo, the pedals and cables connected to the Hydra resemble the color of the loops. Loop red on the right is a tremolo, loop green is an overdrive, loop blue is a delay, and loop yellow is a distortion. To activate the loops, simply press the corresponding buttons in the order you want to have the loops. To change the order, just press the white button and you can start over. Repeatedly pressing a button toggles the loop without changing the order. Let's try an example. We activate loop red, that's the tremolo, followed by the delay in loop blue. Now let's change the order to delay followed by tremolo. Let's have a look at the volume control at the end of the signal chain. To change the volume, press and hold the yellow button labeled Post Volume. The LED on the right starts to flash yellow. You can now increase or decrease the volume with the yellow and red buttons. They're labeled with plus and minus. You can set it to mute or from 24 dB attenuation to 12 dB boost. When you're done, just press the white button to leave volume setup. The second volume block is like a fifth loop. Its position can be set either to the very beginning of the signal chain or it can be attached to one of the loops so it follows it around. To change the position, press and hold the button labeled Volume Position. The right LED starts to flash green. When all loop LEDs light up, it's placed before all loops right after the input. Use the plus and minus buttons to step through the loops. Solid light means it's placed before the loop, blinking means it's placed behind the loop. To see an example how this can be used, let's place the volume block before the overdrive. The loop volume is now placed before the overdrive in the green loop. Placed like that, the volume becomes a gain control. To change it, just press and hold the button labeled loop volume. Let's have a listen on how the loop volume affects the gain of the overdrive. The Trails feature, sometimes called Spillover or Carryover, preserves your delay or reverb trails when switching off a loop. This is done by disconnecting the send of the loop and mix the return with the output signal. To set up a loop for Trails, press and hold the Mixer button. Press the Loop button to activate Trails, press it again to deactivate it. Let's listen to an example. Here, the blue loop with the delay is set up for trails. This is how it sounds when we switch it off. Now let's have a look at the parallel loops feature. You can either have loops parallel to each other or loops parallel to the clean signal. To set it up for having loops parallel to the clean signal, press and hold the mixer button. Press and hold the loops you want to have parallel to the clean signal until the LEDs start flashing slowly. As an example, we'll now set the delay to kill dry. That means that only the delay signal comes out of the pedal. Now we set up the blue loop with the delay 
to parallel and activate it. The signal is now split and routed to the delay as well as directly to the output. Now we set up the position of the loop volume to after the delay. The loop volume is now the volume of the delay. Let's give it a listen. To have loops parallel to each other, press and hold the loop buttons a second time, like this. Now we have set up loop green and loop yellow parallel to loop blue. This should give us a pretty heavy distortion, but the delay trails will stay clean. Let's check it out. Finally, to save all the settings we have made to a preset, press and hold the white button labeled Preset. All LEDs start flashing white. Now just send a PC message and your settings are saved and can be recalled by that exact PC message. These are the basic functions of the Hydra 4X. There are additional features, like all functions can be controlled by individual CC commands, recording presets can be configured and the buttons can be locked so the Hydra 4X can be safely mounted under a pedal board. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment.